Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of West of Loathing. Last time we lost off, we were hit the Big Apple, which was apparently just a giant pile of... ...feces? And, uh, I'm gonna waffle, hop on my weird hot dog looking horse and, uh, continue on my way. So... Let's see, we got a new spot back there, Snake Spring. I might head back for that. Might head back for that. I remember there being a... There's, there's so much stuff that I feel like I've forgotten about where we needed to go back to certain areas, but I can't remember where exactly where it was now. But we can always ask you, I suppose. For reminders. Burned out ranch house on the horizon and pulled Dusty up to it to investigate. There's nothing much of interest above ground, but you find a locked door leading down to a presumably still intact root cellar. If it be. I can't lockpick. Ooh, I can harvest though. Got another can of tuna. Look at me go. And cactus? Okay. Uh... I mean, it is what it says on the tin. An endless stream of snakes pours out of a hole in the canyon wall. Grab a big one or grab a handful? I feel like a handful would give me more XP, but I think I want a big one. It's a spring snake. I mean, it's very mean to me. The, the snake didn't do anything to me, and I... My character is consumed by rage and just murders everything that they can. A snake venom bladder? The snake doesn't have enough skin on it for you to even bother pulling out your knife. Okay, I can grab a handful too. Uh, a lot of people don't know the difference between venomous and poisonous. Yeah. I'm not going to explain it to you, but this is what makes a snake both. Yeah. Um, poison's target for five. Okay. Hi. Grab a handful. Okay, there's a few. Um... They are slightly weaker. How much will this do? 19? I am gonna beef up. And then I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a charge. Yeah. I will gore you. Ooh, that one has way more HP, though. Uh, you're gonna shoot for 44 damage, which... Is a yeah, that one was just way tankier. Okay. I'm gonna shoot that one. Susie seems very good. I'm quite into Susie. Kablamma. Okay, and... I'm just gonna hit you. And then Susie can hit you. Kaboom. Victory! Uh, you successfully killed four snakes out of infinity snakes. Just some infinity more to go. Snake liver, another bladder. Okay, what's a liver do for me, though? Resource 15 HP! They call this the liver because snakes need it in order to live. Ah, yes. Checks out. Okay. I think that's all that was over here. So... We can go ahead and leave. So Susie, um... What do you think? Had a snake fountain bust open near the ranch once. Real pain in the hindquarters. You setting up a gag where it turns out you were literally bit on the hindquarters. Not anymore, ain't. Hey. <laughs> Alright. I guess I should talk to my partner more when we're here. Uh, at different places. Um, am I forgetting about anything? So you said you should deal with the Potemkin gang. Yeah, okay. Forgot where they were at exactly, but... I remember I can still make silver bullets at the silversmith's place. But, let's go over here. You hear a dry cough behind you and turn to see a skeleton dressed in a moldering old tuxedo and silk top hat shuffling towards you, gesturing angrily with her walking stick. The funeral lily pinned to her lapel is gilded, as are all of her teeth. Guess she was trying to take it with her. I'm gonna bully her. Or you think you're a real big deal because you're rich, huh? Think about all that money makes you powerful, huh? Well, I'm alive and you're dead, so who's got the power now, skeleton? Flip the brim of the skeleton's top hat, knocking it off her head. She looks extremely affronted. What are you gonna do about that? Your money gonna go pick that hat up for you, skeleton? Yeah, we could bully the rich. Skeleton shakes her cane angrily and looks around for some bodyguards that are not actually there. She walks away, stalks away, grumbling. Battered old top hat. Yeah, fight the power. All right, destroyed campsite. What's this top hat? Plus three moxie. This is a fancy silk top hat that you got from a fancy skeleton. He didn't take very good care of it. The uh, wait, wait, wasn't it a she? What with the dying and decomposing over decades and becoming a skeleton and all? All right. Knapsack seems like it's taken a lot of abuse. Knapsack. Most of the contents are trashed from being stomped on. You do find a dented can of potted meat, though. 
You also notice that the knapsack has a knife sheath strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. <laughs> what? Campfire has been thoroughly stomped on and kicked. Someone's real serious about fire safety. More thorough inspection reveals dusty boot prints on the tattered canvas. Cows don't typically wear boots. Yikes. You think this used to be a person? Investigate? What a mess. Cows did this to a guy. I can so judge from these tracks, but hmm. What's wrong? Something about these tracks ain't right. What do you mean? They aren't spaced out right, and they're uneven. Hey, what does that mean? Say so either the cow that made these tracks was drunk, or it wasn't the cow that made them. Hmm. Follow the tracks leading away from the mangled corpse, it probably wouldn't be hard to follow them. Are we gonna find Cowman? Since you have reason to believe these tracks may be a fake, you could fo either follow them or head in the opposite direction. Hmm. Reason to believe they may be fake. Go the opposite way? You head in the opposite direction for about half a mile and discover another campsite, this one occupied. You observe the camp campers carefully from a distance before approaching. They're dressed weirdly in a brightly colored baggy clothes and white face paint. As you get closer, you realize they're dressed up as rodeo clowns? Gross. Why would they do that? There doesn't seem to be a rodeo happening anywhere near here. Approach it? A rodeo clown campsite. Okay, I'm glad we made it. What do you what do you have to say about this? Ain't been a real rodeo in these parts for nigh on 20 years. Nigh on 20 years. What are these folks doing dressed like that? Yeah, no kidding. Rodeo's clown is playing a harmonica. The tune he's playing basically goes doot doot doodle oot doot do do. Nods politely but keeps playing. Okay. Simple three man tent which probably sleeps about 40 clowns. Okay. Rodeo clown is eating a comically large haunch of meat. Nearly eyes you as if to say mine. Clown is idly juggling a knife. Had a stranger, says with a smile. Had a stranger. Uh, howdy. What are you guys doing out here? Camping? You can tell by the campfire. What I mean is... There's no rodeo or circus around here. So why are you guys in rodeo clown outfits? Oh, that. Circus is up north. We're on breaks. We decided to take in the sights. What sights? There's the middle of nowhere. Nonsense. Check out these creatures over there. There's cactus over there. And there's mountains and all the sand. Plenty of things to see. Uh, I guess so. What circus? I didn't hear anything about a circus in this area. Oh, you wouldn't have. Just a little traveling show. You ain't missing nothing. What's it called, though? On hesitation show. It's called Barnaby Bob's Perfectly Normal Traveling Circus Slide Show. Perfectly normal? Why's it called that? Nears his eyes at you. Accuracy. How far north is it? Oh, pretty far. Too far for you to worry about. Oh, really? How far? <sighs> it's up near Goblin Gulch. Wow, that is really far north. Right, exactly. Too far. You walked all the way from here, from there? Wait a minute, you guys walked all the way down from the northmost part of the territory from sightseeing on your break? We get really long breaks. We have a good union. That's nice. Look, I'm not stupid. I may have literally fallen off a turnip truck recently, but that don't mean I'm stupid. Where are you guys here doing, actually? Monica Player stops playing, and the clown's eyes grow very cold. His friendly grin turns into a snarl. Traveling tutors, giving lessons and minding your own freaking business. Do you like a free sample? Bring it, you pot pasty faced goons. <laughs> uh, don't do that. No. <laughs> Knife clown? A clown mook. A clown with a gun. Um. Well. Uh. These two are gonna stab me. You're gonna shoot me. Um. Let's see, if I beef up, could I kill you? I cannot, even with a beef, even with a beef up. So I think what I'm gonna do is drop a menacing move. Go ahead and lower all of those stats. And you can hit for 43, so you shoot that door. Whiff. Later, idiot. Yeah, that's gonna be slightly painful, but we got it. Um, yeah, and then the next one, I just, I just beef up. Plus 12 muscle, 44 to 46 damage to my target. I'm gonna hit you, have Susie kill that one. Shoot. 
Kablamma. Ha ha ha! You cannot hurt me. I lowered your stats too much. I do feel ridiculously busted. Like, I'm crazy strong. Bonk. And shoot. You have barely any HP. And attack. There we go. Well, that's one pack of demonic rodeo clowns that won't be troubling people anymore, and boy, did you not expect to be thinking that sentence today. Look through their stuff. You poke around their campsite for a bit, but don't find anything of value apart from the leader's knife and a ticket to the circus. Well, the harmonica, maybe, but that clown had his lips all over it. Ugh. Got an item clown knife and a circus ticket. You also find a note in one of the lead clown's pockets. Ew. It seems to be ordering or orders to check out an abandoned tannery not far from Dirtwater. It's probably a bad idea to let these guys wander around their towns. Maybe you should investigate. Discovered a new map location, Danny's Tannery. Yeah, doesn't sound great. Uh, okay. Well, we're out of here. So, how good is that? Uh, emit one plus partner. And then the blade of this hunting knife is glistening with clown spit. Ugh. People who lick their knives to look intimidating are basically the worst people. I don't think that's better than St. Beefus. Yeah, no, St. Beefus is too good. But we have a... We have a clown knife, I guess. So that was a clown campsite. That I found my way to by going to the destroyed campsite. So can I still follow the other path? There's an open grave here. It doesn't look like the skeleton. Previous tenant... Okay, handful of gold coins and some skull chips. So can I follow these the other way? No, okay, it won't let me. I just thought I would check. Just in case there was an opp opportunity. Uh, the Potemkin gang, I guess. New map location of circus! To your delight, you see the silhouette of a big circus tent. Uh, no, keep going. Alright, Potemkin gang. Hey. There, there, Susie. Susie looks over her notes. There's another ranch in this area. Don't know nothing about it, it's pretty new. Okay, we'll take a look. Lazy A Dude Ranch. Am I forgetting about anything? Okay, thanks for the reminder. We're here to do just that. No entry. Real jail. A guy shouts, visiting hours are over, and runs over to stop you. Okay. Bar's closed for piano repair, and runs over to stop you. Non-fake horse sales. Guy shouts, the ho uh, hustler is... What? No entry. Uh... The ho no hustler, no horseshoes, no service, best move along. Yikes. What do you keep running from? Gosh, this place is condemned, it's not safe to go in there. Genuine TNT and sandwiches? Leave me alone. Don't go in there, the house is haunted. Bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? Lost my belt buckle. You look near the bar. Good idea, I'll look there. Okay. So now can I go in? I thought that's what we were doing. I was gonna lure you. Okay, I thought I was gonna lure you over there. Huh. You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Are you through the back door? What? Oh my god, so now I'm at the back end of the building. And they're all fake! Doesn't seem safe at all. What have I stumbled upon? Hefty load? Um... Back of the jail. Turns out it's just flat plywood, like a theatrical set. The ropes that are holding this thing up don't look very strong. You can probably knock it over easily, but you should probably hold off until just the right moment. Okay... And then... Doesn't seem safe at all. This is... One of the buildings. Okay, so I want them standing in front of the jail? Yeah, the back of the jail turns out it's like- it's, Okay, so jail, and whatever the, this building was. I don't quite remember what it was. Because I could probably push the plunger, maybe? So let's go see if we can get one of them in front of the jail. Or both of them, potentially. Oh wait, where did I tell that one to stand, though? I told you to go check out the bar. Is you trying to do the jail? Oh, yeah, I'll look there. Okay, and then I'll try to go in here. And then you run over. Good luck with that. Okay, so they're both sitting there at the jail. And now I will go back here, and I will mush them. Usually I do the, the murder route, but this is the funny route. 
And funny route seems pretty fun. All right. Um, Shenzhou's side player rips her hold the things up. You could probably knock it over pretty easily, but you should hold off until the right, just the right moment. I mean, this feels like the right moment to me, right? I think that's that's, a, that's the correct moment. How else would uh interact with this? I, mean, I couldn't like cut the rope. Probably hold off until just the right moment. What does that mean? That doesn't seem safe at all, is all that says. Huh. Yeah, because I don't know anything else that I can actually do. I thought just get them in front of the building and then make the jail fall. Uh, I'll quit that. Eek. Oh, there's not oh, okay. Okay, that's- there were three! Yeah, I forgot about that one. That one was scared. So now that all three of them are over there, now I can do it. Yeah, because the one the one looking for their thing is different than the one that's scared of me. So now I think we're good. Now I should be able to do it? Cut the ropes. This is the back of the jail. Turns out to be flat pyro uh crash. The fake building falls over on the real bandits. Okay. So yeah, they had a they had a whole ass fake setup. As I skate. Okay, so they're super dead, right? I win? Oh, they're not dead, but... The gang is knocked out. You can arrest them now if you want. Uh, take my time. Nothing else to grab around here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, take him to jail. Gang is knocked out. You can arrest them. You haul the sorry so-and-sos back to dirt water and lock them in jail. Hey, that's the Batamkin gang. How'd you get them? Pushed the jail over on them. What? Never mind. All the day's work. Tempting gang sell. Yeah. Oh, again? What's up? Give her the tattooed tooth. And that's the tattooed tooth of the leader of the stripy hat gang. Alright, I'll recognize it anywhere. Thanks, a bundle. I uh, just wanted to say hi. Alright. Bye bye. So that's. Fifth wanted poster The Gherkin Brothers for kidnapping, brining, kidnapping victims. Attempted sale of human flesh for consumption. Last seen headed for the old abandoned pickle factory. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. Yeah. Mark the old pickle factory on your map. Hopefully chasing them down won't get you into a real... pickle. Black hat bandits for horse theft and selling of counterfeit glue. Last seen headed towards the old millinery. A goat can come with crystals with access- uh, crim crystals? Criminals with access to hat making machinery. Yeah, I would like to investigate. Okay. And then what'd that say? Oh, it said something. It said something about a good millinery. Alright. I'm sorry. I accidentally skipped that. Alrighty. Um, I have 350 points. So... What all do I want to do? As far as upgrades go. Buffing menacing Moo even more would be quite quite crazy, but uh more intimidating or more foraging. Honestly, I don't feel like I need any of the combat stats. I feel super strong, so I don't really think I need to put points into that that much, if I'm going to be honest. Doubling Haymaker's damage could be nice. Heal extra. Really fancy goods from Cacti. I haven't even read into anything that requires that yet, so... Um... Hmm. Like I said, the combat's really not proving a problem right now. So, I think I just want to put points into some of these other things. Uh, gumption... Pain tolerance, yeah, none of this stuff. And honestly, none of this stuff. I think I just want to focus on miscellaneous skills. Uh, don't let anybody give you the long end of the stick. Dickerin. Foraging. I mean, this would max foraging out. I'll max foraging out. Like I said, I just really don't need the combat right now. So I don't have your medicine, right? No pressure or anything, but... Please hurry. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, Danny's Tannery was down here. Find a pair of binoculars hanging on a passing cactus. 
I mean a cactus you're passing, not a cactus that's passing you. It only looked like it was passing you because of your frame of reference. Grab them. This will come in handy. They will also come in pairs because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. There was a place we could go to where it, it did- it was high up, I think. Where this place so far from town. Never smell a- you never smell a working tannery? Whew, lucky you. Should better check it out. Yeah, tanneries are known for smelling like shit. That's why, like, back in the day, the tanner would always be kind of far away from the rest of town, and... As far as I understand, people generally didn't like tanners. Because <laughs> they were seen as, like, the people, because they smelled bad or something. Sounds like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the tannery. Except instead of the regular fighting sounds you're used to, like shouting and gunfire and chairs being broken over people's backs, you hear a lot of ghostly bellowing and shrill cackling laughter. Sounds like a real bad scene. Let's go! As you enter the tannery, the second thing you notice is that the place has been abandoned for years. Probably since the cows came home. A lot of the equipment is wrecked and all of it's covered with dust. First thing you notice is that there are a bunch of rodeo clowns in here fighting with... Well, they aren't cows exactly, they're more like the possessed skins of cows. That's a little strange, because you've seen people wearing, for example, cow leather chaps. I've never seen anyone being attacked by their chaps. Maybe there's something about the tanning process that makes leather impervious to possession. And these cow ghost whatevers are untanned hides? In any case, the clowns and cows seem preoccupied enough with their fighting that they haven't noticed you, at least yet. Okay... Lie? As you approach the clown and weird cow leather ghost thing, they take notice of you and stop fighting while they process this new development. The clown, fortunately, seems to decide he hates cows more than he hates you. The cow, unfortunately, decides it hates you more. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. I don't much care for these clown fellas, but if they're against the cows, maybe they're alright. You won't be satisfied leaving here with any cows alive, will you? It's been a short time and you already know me so well, hoss. Yeah, so we gotta kill all the cows. Hit it right back. <laughs> a skin cow is cursed. What a weird idea. You beat the cow, but the enemy of your enemy is apparently not your friend because the clown, the clown decides it's his turn to be on the right side of the screen. Uh-oh. Well, you're not very strong, so... Uh, I should have used my buffs, so I'm gonna stun you, since there's only one of you. Just so you don't actually get to hit me, even. And then I will whack you again, and then we will finish you. Yeah, Susie's just strong. With that rifle? Well, that's one clown and one cow down. You hear a lot more fighting going on in the rest of the tannery, though, so that pat on the back will have to wait till later. Found an old toolbox. This is what I wanted to get. Leather, shears, and a handful of nails. Besides the miscellaneous scraps and junk that naturally accumulate in toolboxes, you find a handful of nails and a pair of sizable, sharp, and serious-looking scissors. Cool. Uh, so much lime, manure, and lye. Oh my god. Okay. Door's locked, which is probably as well, considering the ruckus you hear on the other side of it. Can I take any lime or manure? Doesn't look like it. You attempt to sneak up on the cow- your attempt to sneak up on the cows fails, assuming you were sneaking and not just moseying over. The cows appear all too willing to add your face to the list of faces they hate, and turn their attention from the clowns, who jump on this opportunity to get their jump on their ancient enemies. Join the fracas! Okay. Look at my squad. Uh, I'm gonna buff this time. Gonna make sure I actually use my abilities. Wild, I know. Okay, and then that clown attacks, and then Susie gets a shot. Did Susie add a notch when we killed these, actually? God, they move so weird. Alright, now the clowns are gonna fight me, right? True to form, the clowns who were on your side in that fight betray you. Damn clowns. I have to jump on them. Blah. Uh, beef up. 40 muscle. Alright. So, yeah, as is expected. They're like, we don't like you now. But I am too powerful for you. You stand no chance, that's what you got. Feels kind of strange to be fighting alongside demonic cows, but I guess war makes strange bedfellows. Ugh. Please ignore the fact that I just used demonic clowns and bedfellows in the same sentence. Wait, did I say cows? Whoops. Bedfellows. Yeah. Hi. 
The scene has the makings of a real brawl. Not only does one of the clowns have a nasty look in his eye, nastier than typical, I mean, one of the possessed cowhides is stretched on a tanning frame, which makes it stronger, somehow, I assume? Bring on the brawl? That's odd. <laughs> well, this is quite a lot of fighting, I will say that, my god. Uh... I'm going to uh, attack this one after I buff, probably. I'm not gonna menacing move him. Bonk. And... I'm just gonna crack shot you. The other clown might kill the other ghosts. <laughs> Barely now. Okay, how, how, how strong is this one? Ow! Oh my god, that hurt a lot. Okay, luckily, it's... It's an ungolith as well. Luckily, it's not that difficult. Yeah, weird. Oh my god, that was... That hurt, though. Guess what? Clowns turn on you now after the cows are dead. This is not surprising. Okay. Well, they're all gonna try and stab me, so menacing move for sure. And then I just shoot them. Things are seeming to catch up to me in damage. Which is what I want. I want the combat to kind of even out here. I want to be afraid. 30 to 32 damage. Make sure we buff. And I... I should do more damage than you, so I should attack first. You can finish off this character. Yeah, you do 41. Well, 38. Good. I'm so strong with my massive, massive stat. Kablamma. I should have hit the other character. Yeah, I would have done 10 extra damage. It's not gonna matter anyway, it's gonna take the same amount of turns. I'm also just incredibly tanky, like... I'm just a massive damage dealer and a tank. Ooh, what a mess that fight was. What a mess the floor is afterward. At least now you're free to poke around uh, the scenery. Take that nasty clown's knife and oh look! They also had a key! I got another varmint skin and knife? Another one? Yeah, I already got one. I guess I can sell that. I don't need two varmint skin and knives. It does sell for a hundred, so... This, uh, this body must have been here since the cows came home. There isn't much left. Tannery Saint Rage Key? Look around the tattered shreds of his clothes and find an old key. What? So I have two keys? Build a crate. What? Hammer plus nails? Why would I build a crate? Open it up? I got nails, nails, and ranch dressing. What? <laughs> what? Why? I, I shouldn't question it. This is an amazing poultice. You can apply it to your wounds before you even get them. Ew. Ew. No. Ew. Wait, I was thinking of the actual dressing, but I guess what- I guess the joke is that it's a- like, a thing for dressing a wound, like a bandage? That was made at a ranch? Or came from a ranch? It's like a... You know, what is that called? A double entendre? <laughs> this, this door is locked, but the door you found on the- uh, the, 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 the key you found on that clown looks like it'll probably fit. Sure you don't wanna go in there, it sounds like a big fight. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Not a good situation to be in. Quickly hide behind some old tan hides. Huh. Is that why they're called that? Uh, there are three clowns out here, each armed with a nasty looking knife. One of them is licking his knife, and the sound makes you think he is literally sharpening the blade on his tongue. They are facing down two of the stretched hide cows and a monstrous thing that looks like an entire cow skeleton draped in flayed cow skin. That you lot think you're real clever breaking through on a human plane. Do you think we wouldn't follow you? Mm. You think you found a weapon here to use against us, or are you just trying to escape? Mm. What? You take that back. Stop listening. None of them seem to have noticed you. It looks like you can sneak through the back door if you're really careful. I mean... Hey, what do you think? Oh, well, now. That's a hell of a sight. You'll just sneak back out of here. Hell, we could. Throw your hand and let's do this. Alright. When they see you, the clowns and cows stop hissing and mooing and posturing at each other. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, Gandagram. Moo. Uh-oh. Now's a chance. Get him. Uh-oh. Whoa, they're quick. Oh, pain. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Well, I was just talking about how I wanted... I wanted it to actually be, like, kind of difficult. Here we go. It's time. Um... Let's see, two of them use magic. The powerful cow... ...does that. Um... I'm gonna punch this... Well, we need to eat first. Yeah, I need to heal with the snake liver. There's a good chance I'll die if I don't. Usable once per fight. This will not end your turn. I do need the extra HP. Oh my god. Yeah, these things these things did not come to play. Punch it! Boom! Okay, so... Oh, I should have punched the one that had... Hmm... Hmm... Now the question is, do I shoot? Or what? Hmm... 32 damage. I could at least have that one down next round. If I did that, I think I'm gonna shoot that one. And you're gonna attack the wrong one like a fool. Yes, hit the clowns, please. Don't focus on me. Owie. Okay, okay, wait. This is actually... this is actually good. Oh my god. Good thing we have the clowns here. This would be bad. Um... Okay, we're gonna punch the powerful cow. Kablamma. And then, um... I want to say they'll finish off this, but... I'm gonna hit it just to make sure it dies. So, boom. And stabby. And stabby. Okay. Yeah, this thing is quite strong, I will give it that. Uh... 7 to 9 damage to the target I'm gonna do. Ooh. Deal 20 damage to the target. Yeah, its muscle is 40. And because I used all my AP, I can't... ...lower it anymore. That'll only do 1 damage. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna have to use some dynamite. Um... How much HP do I have? This thing does 40. I have... ...29 HP, so I won't die. But... ...I'm going to... ...smack you. Okay, Susie's gonna do a bunch of damage. Actually, I can stun it again. Yeah, 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 let's stun it. Let's stun it. So I didn't have to use the dynamite. I forgot I still had Susie's stun. But, it's fine. I mean, I gotta use my items sometimes, you know? Okay, now it's the three clowns, and that's gonna be its own issue. Luckily, we have all these stuns. Stuns are always super powerful in these kinds of games, so... Boom. Predictable as ever, the clowns turn on you once you've helped them defeat the cows. Okay. Whoa, they're quick. Ow, and they actually hurt. Okay, that one doesn't hurt too much. That one's not as much of a problem. These two, though? Oh my god. Um... Heal? Okay. We're gonna need to move. We need to lower that. So, yeah, now they shouldn't really hurt me much at all. Um, yeah, this one in the middle is super weak. I'm not even gonna bother with that one. We're attacking this one first. The one up here is very strong. Ow, that is still enough to hurt me. A little. Ow. Okay, um... I can beef up. Or I can Menacing Moo again. ...to lower their muscle even more. Or I can stun them. I mean, I might as well beef up. Might as well beef up. Let's see, I do 32 to 34 attack damage to you. I'm gonna- I'm gonna throw this at you. Okay. Still not enough to kill you. One end your turn, this will poison your target. Five poisons, five units of poison. Uh Yeah... God, I wish that would finish you. Because right now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get attacked by these two. And I think I should be good, but... Nah, we're not gonna risk it. We're, we're not gonna risk it. Use the other dynamite. 
And then... I think I'm just gonna attack you. I want- I want you- I want one of you dead. Okay, and then we stun you, because you're the other problematic one. The one in the middle is weak. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Now we're slightly better off here. So... Bonk. You're not going to do 45 damage, but... I think I'll still be fine. This one should whiff. And you're going to do like 13. Oh wait, no, okay, oh yeah, because my, yeah, yeah, that's right, because my muscle went up. I increased my muscle with this, so never mind, I, I probably didn't have to use all my dynamite, but... It's fine, it's fine. We won, and that's what matters. But yeah, increasing my muscle, increasing my defense to their attacks, but also increasing my damage is very powerful. <laughs> it's so strong. Ew, it's a good thing clouds hate cows more than they hate humans. That fight could have went way worse. Fortunately, it seems unlikely that you'll run into any more animated leather-clad cow skeletons on your adventure. Right? Oh my god. Remember when I said the combat was not that difficult at the moment? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that was scary. Jeez. Menacing Moo lowering by two more is like... whatever, but... Hmm. Raising my muscle even more is so cheap that I feel like maybe I should just do that. It's so cheap. So let's let's get a little bit more muscle. So yeah, that puts me at that. And then let's put another point to intimidating. All right. Oh. You approach the hide warily. Looks like it was too tan to be possessed. And this is supposed to be the storage shed. It's locked, but maybe you found the key. Nothing better after a hard fight and a tall glass of loot. Got that right. Manure. Build a crate. Open it. Ranch punch, full canteen, and a handful of nails. Increase your melee damage by seven. Slang name for a combination of milk and whiskey ranchers used to drink. The actually name is undrinkable garbage. Some old water in a very old canteen. Drinking it would probably give you tetanus, which, uh, you discovered very- which was discovered very recently. This item is used in combat. Puts out fires. Interesting. Guy back here hiding behind a barrel. He isn't very good at hiding. Talk to him. Uh, hello? Oh, thank God, you aren't one of those horrible clowns. Nope, I'm Quasi. Quasi Mofo. Grady Tanner. It's a good thing you arrived. I couldn't have held out for much longer. Actually, Tanner, is that your surname? Well, both. What are you doing in here? Hiding? What I mean is, why are you hiding in here? Because I don't want to die. Look, what's your story? Well, I was scavenging for tannin materials. Cows bane ain't as easy to get a hold of as it was in the old days. Well, I was searching, those cows showed up, and then those clowns showed up, so I locked myself in here to hide. What's cows bane? It's a herb used for tannin leather. You can't grow it in large patches anymore because cows show up and wreck the place, so there's other stuff we generally use for pig leather and so on. It's not as good, though. Cows wreck your herb gardens? Yeah, for growing more than about a flower pot's worth, they, got, they get wind of it somehow. Hate the stuff. Can't figure out why. Yeah, I got a few extra seeds you can have. Be careful. How long you been in here? Three or four days. I'm starving. Cow's beans poisonous, so I've been chewing on this old leather hat for sustenance. Seriously? Yep. Want some? No. Well, I took care of the clowns and the cows. Consider yourself rescued. Wonderful. Thank you. As soon as I get a new shop set up, you can count on me for any leather goods you need. And first one's on the house. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where I might set up a new shop. What happened to your old shop? You had a guess? Cows? Uh, yep. There's an empty lot in dirt water you could probably use. And I'll head right there. Thanks a million, partner. I owe you one. Okay. Packet of cow's bean seeds. Wasn't much call for them in the past, but nowadays they're deer. Okay. I think we uh, are ready to get out of Danny's tannery. That was a lot. My goodness. Okay. Well then, Jewel Saloon, Dirtwater Mercantile. I still haven't fixed your leg, friend. I'll get to it, I promise. Um, hot dog- oh yeah, the hot dog place. I've made some regrettable life choices. Yeah, we moved in the hot dogs and Grady's fine goods. There's still two more- three- oh, okay, there's a lot of lots available, actually. 
All right, what am I gonna get? Some cool pants? Well, hey there, Quasi. Welcome to my shop. Like you got yourself set up pretty nicely. Sure have. Let me get you a little something. Thanks for helping me out. Here's a sharpening strop on the house. Oh, thanks. So let me know if there's anything else. Ooh, a bandolier increases pistol damage by three. Plus two armor, plus five spell damage. Like cooperative British wizard schoolboys, these chaps allow you to do move more freely while you're doing magic. Have to work a little harder than usual just to move around in these things, which makes you pretty belligerent. Plus five and plus two armor. Increase the damage of your melee weapon by three to four. You have one of these. Oh, it's just an upgrade for my melee weapon? Ooh, okay. Yeah, and you can buy an infinite amount of them, it seems like. With this? Is that what that means? Maybe not. Okay. Well... I probably want another one of those. Um, I can sell some stuff, too. Um, I don't need this other varmint skin and knife. Um... Honestly, I don't need a lot of this stuff, but I'm kind of just being a hoarder right now. I just try to sell the stuff that says actually sell them. And not a lot of the other stuff, but I don't need this much coffee either. Um... So a lot of the food and stuff, if I have too many of them, I'm willing to sell. Like the mug of cactus beard, don't need that much. So... But I do want a good amount of my food around. You can probably sell the monster parts, but I'm keeping them just in case. Uh, I want the inflexible chaps, I think. Let's check what my current pants do. Um, oh, I have to look in bag, there we go. Kneeling pants, plus three muscle. The other one gives me armor. And gives me melee attack damage. So, I feel like those are probably better. Yeah, plus five and two armor, I think that's worthwhile. I can always put on the kneeling pants if I need to increase my stats for some reason, because that puts me back down to 28 muscle, but... Um, and then yeah, on my St. Beefus thigh... Oh yeah, we never saw what the leather shears do. Heavy duty... Yeah, it's just a weapon, okay. Um, well, I would like to apply... my sharpening strop to this. You sharpen your St. Beefus' thigh until the strop is worn down to nothing. Yeah! Now it does 12 to 15 damage, which is great. It's a very good weapon. I mean, I guess with those, you could just keep upgrading one weapon that you like a lot, rather than switching to another one. Alright. Whew. Went a little bit longer than I expected to today, but I'd say that's a good point to go ahead and stop, so... Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.